Hello viewers, this is John Appleton again, and here is Posture Released Imagery's slideshow number three on the functional segments of the body. There are several image exercises and ideas presented. I strongly suggest that occasionally you stop the show or rerun parts in order to achieve more success with the images and understanding. This episode describes the value of perceived independence between specific functional body segments. The segmentation of the body that I am talking about is not visible, but is a sort of neurological or sensory segmentation. Specific imagery exercises allow kinesthetic experiencing of both the freedom and control that this understanding of segments offers. The exercises may be challenging but the rewards in time will make the time spent worthwhile. My names for the three most basic segments of the body are rather obvious and a bit funny to me. The director, motor, and rudder segments. A graceful body intuitively understands the value of the segments. The head and neck can be at ease, for instance, when most of the rest of the body is working hard. Our tail section also can be usefully envisioned as partially separate from the middle and working portion of the body. When we think of humans as upright creatures, it is only what I call the motor segment that is upright or on edge as shown here. This next slide shows the most basic elements of human uprighting and is an imagery exercise. Follow the description and directions of this exercise, and as I suggested, stop the slideshow or run it over again when needed. This chart crudely shows the elements of the human body that have changed from four-legged upright to two-legged upright. Crude as it is, it is basic and adequate for helping anyone to a full, healthy, upright posture through imagery. Illustration number one here shows a red box containing the motor segment of a horizontally oriented animal. For the moment, disregard the red lines, but instead see if you can imagine, even slightly or for a second, that you are four-legged and standing like this example, with a long snout and tail going horizontally forward and backward. Next, imagine that the motor segment, as shown in number one, turns 90 degrees to be on edge, like in illustration number two. You only have to be vaguely able to imagine these things to begin to kinesthetically experience changes in both your structure and feelings. Now you will notice how the portions of the limbs in illustration number two have to be imagined as being moved in order to fall into place or connect up to look like illustration three. Imagine those changes. Continuing on, figure number three has arrows indicating the sensations that make the body become even more upright almost naturally without effort. This is first done by imagining being picked up lightly at the base of the neck between the shoulders. That's between the seventh cervical and the first thoracic vertebra. Then the body is uprighted more with the sensation that the feet are pulled down or that the feet are experiencing a little more weight. Finally, the horizontally oriented director and rudder are both being imaginarily pushed in to feel more like figure number four, the way it looks, which is closer to being like the segmented human being on the right.
With this image, you evolve into a body more dorsal ventrally balanced to function efficiently on this earth. Complete success with this image can take time and definitely repeats. Now, to work toward the next image exercise, let's go to a simpler depiction of body segmenting. This is what I call a bare rug view or vantage point of the dorsal surface of the body laid out. This, as in other illustrations, shows the delineation of the director, motor, and rudder segments. But they are not the end of the segmentation story. Imagining that the body is nearly completely split vertically in half, as in figure two here, can free up habitually rigid and stiff movement caused by unnecessary asymmetry and diagonal tension and forces in the body. And by imaginarily combining the horizontal splits in number one with the vertical splits in number two, as shown in figure three, more unexpected healthy change can be experienced. If you think of creature number three depicted here as a toy made of hard rubber, you may be able to see and otherwise sense how it would be made more flexible by these combined splits, but still have a sturdy structure. Finally, in figure four, there are shown remaining locations where the body can be usefully as divided up and freed up. The locations of these splits are specific, and three interestingly and significantly fall right over sense organs, the eyes, the ears, and nose, or nostrils. Here is how the combination of the simpler version of the segmentation the three basic segments, looks on a human being. The dorsal surface is white and the ventral surface is dark gray. Stop the slides to study this further. And here is how the complete group of splits are located on another figure of a human. The dotted lines are used to show the location of the splits on the ventral side of the body. Now comes a very useful image exercise. The bare rug diagram to the right, the yes version, shows all the locations of the functional segments that I recommend we entertain in ourselves. All the places where we should envision extra freedom in the body by means of imagining separation. The diagram on the left represents a way of mentally dividing up our body which is dysfunctional, bad for us. When we see ourselves as being made up of body parts, such as arms, legs, neck, ears, eyes, and so forth, we may be subconsciously creating this model in our heads. But if you think of yourself as made up in this manner, the parts cease to function well with each other to support us and allow us graceful movement. Stop the action and spend a little time imagining that you are split up in parts like those shown on the left. You will begin to collapse and lose your structure. Moving becomes more work. Then move to the mode suggested by yes on the right. It will free up and organize your structure in a healthy, lighter way. The healthy ways may be a bit tiring at first. Muscles are being used differently and better in your body. Ultimately, they will make standing, sitting, being easier. In this next slide, I'm trying to represent and imply all the segments of an archetypal version of a vertically upright creature, us that is, as well as showing all the segmenting the sensations for a healthy dorsal ventral relationship are shown, which include the white, lightweight, and expanding dorsal surface that is separating from a dark or black, heavy and contracting ventral surface. As a result, there are a total of 32 functional segments that I envision and have experienced on the body. 
To imagine all of these conditions all at once is daunting, but help us on the way in the next and last few slides. This slide is a diagram of the location of all the flexibility and structure enhancing divisions of body segments, both on the dorsal and ventral surfaces. I do not always show the splits as incomplete as they are here at the wrist, foot, and elsewhere here. But the distinction is a positive addition to this image. Now what makes imagining all this easier is shown in the next slide. It is by far most useful to imagine the body segments separated at the locations where there are intersections. You can see where those intersections are down the middle of the body both on the dorsal and ventral sides as well as around the edges of the body along what I call the dorsal ventral seam or border. The dorsal and ventral surfaces are healthily envisioned as separating, so a functional split can be implied there as well. Imagining even small plus-shaped splits, as these are, can bring about some seemingly magical changes in your body. The splits that I am talking about bring about neurological and muscular changes as a result. Therefore, the imagining should not be viewed in any sense as gruesome or bloody. Rather, think of light being either emitted or admitted, since light is a lightening up neurological experience. It may take a while for some of you to locate the exact places to imagine these things. The next slide shows a few on my body. The diagram of the various splits shown on my upper body is rather complex. Human beings are massively changed from our simple archetypal past. But the locations of segmental splits are, over time, learnable. The black plus signs on my face and neck in the picture to the right show some of the intersections. Many of you intelligent people may be somewhat skeptical of what I am proposing here. The next slide offers you the opportunity, I think, to experience the proper changes at segment intersections in contrast to an improper visualization. I want you all to leave this slideshow as believers in the power of specific imagery to cure some or many of your habitual muscular and skeletal ills and habits. To do this, it might help to convince you of the specific value of this image. So in this slide, I want you first to envision X-like splits where shown in the first and third pictures and then imagine them changing to plus shaped splits. Working with one spot at a time, over the eyes for instance, may be most effective. You should find that the X's produce debilitating sensations and the plus signs produce rewarding, renewing kinesthetic experiences. This has been plenty enough for you to experiment with for a while. You will not have learned it all in one visit. Please return and check out my website, Facebook page, and YouTube channel for more posture release imagery. Good luck.